May I say first of all what a great pleasure it is on my own behalf and on behalf of Sabina to welcome you all of what is a very, very special occasion uh, and an occasion that is about the representation of eight great people who are part of the founding moments uh, of our state, without whom we wouldn't have uh, a presidency or a state in many ways, and I think then too as well. The fact that this uh, painting, and uh, Jackie Moore will say a word about the painting itself when I have finished, uh, about its its evolution and its different phases, but it's, in, it's incredibly important. I think that uh, Sean Keating identified himself all of the people in the painting originally in 1951. It's interesting the way all of the, these things happen because I have uh, Sean Keating's portrait of Noel Brown as the one that is in my office, uh, in my study. So 1951 was a very, very significant year for Sean Keating himself. Uh, I think the, uh, the picture we, we will go and see where you will recognise your your very important ancestors is entitled an IRA column. You will be familiar with the version that is the men from the south, but I'm leaving all of that to Jackie to, <laughs> uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, explain. But just to say about uh, Sean Keating describing the making of this painting, he said, they trooped in dressed and armed very much as they must have been on many an ambush. I would rather doubt that myself uh, from my own conversations with my father and my uncles about the state of them in the languages. They look very well turned out a bit, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. You can, that's Jackie's uh, position. Uh, uh, I also, uh, as well, have to say that there are, the, yeah, the, you, she will speak about the two versions of the painting. And indeed, also, as I've said, 1951 is a very, it was, would later, it was a very important year, year for, Ke for Keating himself. Um, each of you, Tina, as I went round, one of the things, as I've just said in Irish, it was a pleasure to meet not only those who are so closely connected with, them, with, the, with the men in the painting, but all the different generations, because history is so important. And as you have no doubt transfer the story of the people in this painting from one generation to another. It reminds us of the importance uh, of uh, the importance of history. It also is important to realise that the, when the, um, the first president of Ireland in 1938 moved in here in 1938 on Creven Even, Dr Douglas he uh, gifted this painting. It was gifted to the Oris by Dr, H by Dr. Douglas Hyde. And Across the decades, we're very, very. I'm very, very pleased that people are becoming familiar with all of what this house holds, and this house has a very significant, uh, as a history, as it moved through different manifestations of power and proximity and distance to the Irish people. The picture that we will we'll look at now, it has been admired by world leaders and humanitarians, who often have asked, "Who are the men in the picture?" And you are uh, the descendants of these men. You have a direct link with them. So this is a very, very special occasion for us. And men, after all, we must remember, it's what Keating is painting is people risking their lives in a war of independence. I think it is, one would wish, that we had it been acquired, our, given our independence without a struggle. It wouldn't have been if it hadn't been for the idealism and the generosity and the risk-taking of those in the picture, Sean Moylan, Johnny Jones, Jim Reardon, Dan Brown, Michael D. O'Sullivan, James Cashman, Dinny Milan and Roger Kiley. I think, I often think about what uh, they must have felt 
uh, I decided to leave out a, a letter from my father to 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 Sean Moylan. My father was in the, the Charleville Brigade uh, during the War of Independence, and the, in in the, the Cork number f- the, the the Charleville Company and the Cork Number no. Four Brigade, which was intelligence officer in the later f- f- the Civil War. But I think uh, what is very very important is for us to realise that there's, there, uh, many of the men not only took risks, but they were left with a legacy afterwards. And uh, now as President of Ireland, sometimes as I've been coming through these acts of commemoration over the last several years, I looked at all those uh, for whom I had no place in, in Ireland. Some left for North America, some went to Australia. Uh, others uh, spent a great deal of time. The letter from my father to Sean Mylan is not only on his own behalf, but on behalf of many others who were, in fact, arguing for... To, had to justify themselves again and again on what their activities were during the war to qualify for a pension from which they'd been excluded. I've left out also as well of one of my, fa- my father's own, one of his many letters to the different commission, giving the, the, the details of what, it, of what his service was. But I think that what is uh, interesting in this is to... Uh, I spent the last seven years making sure that we'd mentioned the women who were involved in the War of Independence, which I think that's one of the great benefits we've had of the last seven years. With women's uh, participation <coughs> has risen because very, very much it was very interesting in those early meetings about qualifications for pensions and others. Nearly all the women were excluded because it was excluded that they couldn't be militants. And then again, it was also pointed out, I think as well, uh, that their actual looking after people in dugouts and in provision of food and clothing and so forth was work that couldn't be regarded as recognised. Now it is, but at least to historians, Harvard, and I'm very pleased about that. You have, every, you, you have, every, you have a proud history every one of your families and all of your generations. I'm so glad to see up to four generations of families here. You all all have something uh, to be very proud of. It's a story that is important that will be told. And it's also now important that we are celebrating what is represented in this, this picture. And I want to thank you for treasuring your family stories. And also as well, history isn't only what is written in books. History is the story of places. History is the memories that have been held and, and which have been shared. What's something important for me to say is we meet in, 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 if you like, in the month of April in 2019. I'm very pleased as President to be able to say that we can recover all of these stories now at a distance uh, without perhaps the great pain and hurt that was there for, for so many. Great prices were paid in relation to families uh, uh, in, 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 different, uh, in different ways. And I, I think that's important, that it is because we deal with history properly, we're able to deal with the past, with propri- we deal with the present with propriety, and also it enables us to imagine what we want for the best of the Republic, which we're, trying, which we're all trying to complete. I think that apart from Sean Keating himself, one last word, Keating himself was a, a, a well, Jackie's going to speak about Keating, but Jackie, uh, uh, Sean Keating himself uh, was very interesting. Uh, May Keating, uh, his wife, had a very particular political orientation, let's say, that they, but he, they were radicals, uh, they believed that you had, in fact, to behave in a radical way to achieve equality, to achieve uh, 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 dignity. So, Erin uh, Lawsha, Erin Ockhotchog, Smith Kaluru, and Pin on Jal on Peter Iantak, Sean Keating, is Nadine Lerk, and so is Pector Fane. I think Kahamit, a commoner of good in her agony, going on Dulgas at her in on scale show, Queen RBO. So let us all remember our obligation. Uh, drawing from the heroism and the idealism, the generosity that you'll see behind the lives of the men in the picture, to continue to work towards craft a better future for all of the citizens of Ireland, and one that will be shared by our children's children, and leaving a legacy of a republic that was ever striving to be more equal and more fair and to achieve the principles of a spirit of a true republic. Mila Buikas, Lanabitarai, Garamaki, Buikas.